Hi there and welcome back. This time we will turn this green hell into a bright and white and shiny bathroom. Let's get started. Because this week's episode is visually a bit, well, boring and self-explaining, I decided to talk about something completely different from what you see. Many of you always ask in the comments about permissions, codes and regulations here in Germany. Do I need a permission for my renovation? Will there be an inspection? And so on and so forth. Although we live in a very regulated country, things are a bit different as they are for example over there in the US. Let's start with permissions. I don't need a permission for my renovation. In Germany this is always the case as long as you don't add to your square footage or living space or as long as you don't do major changes to the structural engineering calculation of your house. If I would add a room or let's say a new floor to the building I would need a building permission by the authorities. Something, by the way, I would never get as our little houses here in the middle of nowhere are just grandfathered. So, renovating the facade or the bathroom is okay as long as everything remains in its outlines. I am allowed to renovate the roof but I'm not allowed to change the pitch of it without permission. Of course, it is a whole different story if this was a new build. In this case, you need lots of permissions. First of all, a building permission. You are not allowed to build wherever you want or can. You have to follow many regulations like distance to neighboring buildings, regulations concerning the height and square footage, sometimes you even need approval for certain windows opening to neighboring buildings. In some German countries or even counties, you have to have an architect or at least a static engineer, in others it's not necessary. When you got all your stamps, seals and permissions, and this might sometimes take months or even years, 
there will only be one inspection. It's in the end when your house is ready to move in. But this inspection is not to check whether your electrical wiring, mechanics or plumbing are correct or safe. It is just to check whether you are following all the rules and regulations that your permission requires. And there is a reason why no authority is taking care of your safety when it comes to building trades. Because here in Germany, every craftsman is his own inspector. To explain this, I have to reach back to, yes, to the Middle Ages. Because our dual education system here in Germany reaches back to the old craft guilds. Back then, all the craftsmen, let's say carpenters, in the city wanted to keep an eye on the number of other carpenters in their area. Of course, first of all, not to have too many competitors. So, they united in their guild to regulate who to become a new carpenter in case there was somebody retiring. As a young man, this meant that you couldn't just declare yourself a carpenter, you had to apply for this job and find a master carpenter to teach and train you. After, let's say, two or three years working as an apprentice, you had to pass an exam in front of the guild and once you passed this test, the guild declared you journeyman. After even more years working in this position under a master carpenter and after passing another exam, you have been entitled to call yourself a master as well. And now you have been allowed to train other apprentices as well. Funny or not, 500 years later we still have this system here in Germany. Well, more or less. We still use the same titles and hierarchy, but the educational system is a bit more controlled by the authorities now. If you want to go into the trades, you start as an apprentice for two, sometimes three years, depending on the job that you want. During this time you work together with a master craftsman who teaches you everything about your trade. Next to this, you have to go once a week to a trade school. These trade schools are run by the government to guarantee that every craftsman here in Germany learns the same skills and is on the same level in terms of safety and standards. After two or three years you have to pass an exam and only at this point you are officially allowed to call yourself journeyman carpenter. And now I come back to my point. That's the reason why there are no inspections needed here in Germany during the building process. The authorities assume that you hire a trained craftsman for your building site. 
This guarantees that everything is safe and to code. In fact, the craftsman gives you warranty on his work. Of course, on the other hand, nobody forces you to do so. Apart from major things like house connection or gas pipes, you can do pretty much everything yourself, but this might be a bit risky when it comes to insurances, for example. If you set your house on fire because of your self-installed breaker box, you'll have a problem, a serious one. This is getting even worse if somebody else is affected by your mistake. No insurance will cover this. That's why we do the rough electric wiring in our house, but the breaker box will be done by a pro. Unfortunately, hours after I started painting, I remembered that I still got this special paint roller in my workshop. It is especially for painting corners. And it is so much easier and quicker than using a brush. So I painted the second coat off camera and I think it covers pretty well. And just in case if you're wondering why I'm not painting this section over here, this is where the sink is gonna be. And this section will be tiled as well. So tiles will be here 
and tiles will be over there in the shower these are the areas with tiles and all the other, uh, other areas will remain just plain white and of course uh, you might wonder as well why do you paint your walls right now before tiling is it quite clever to paint the walls the bathroom walls before you tile well definitely not i think but uh, in my case it was just necessary because i couldn't stand the the green plasterboard any anymore and i just wanted to have a change a little bit and to feel a little bit progress so that was the reason and therefore i will definitely put a third coat of paint on the walls after tiling but until then have a good week everyone thank you so much for watching and as always stay safe and stay healthy